Hey, it's Tom Scarlet 11 and today I'm showing you how to build my LEGO Scun Tank, Garchomp, and Mega Garchomp. I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently here than usual for Garchomp because some of the pieces would be very difficult to take apart and then put back together with how the blue wears off onto my fingers. So instead of using the pieces from the finished Garchomp, I've got the same pieces but uncolored here, and then for these four, you're going to need two of these. I just didn't have enough to have a second set of them outside of the ones I used for Garchomp. So if you want to build these yourself, then you can pause to see all the pieces used. Again, you'll need two of these four pieces. And then over here, these pieces are exclusive to Mega Garchomp. But we'll start off with Skuntank. So you could have actually used three jumper plates here instead of the one jumper plate and then the two by two jumper plate. Doesn't really matter, I just used that for the sake of having less pieces to use. As long as you just have the one regular jumper plate, doesn't matter if you use two more jumper plates or the two by two version of it. There we have Skuntank. Now for Garchomp, Mega Garchomp will use most of these pieces, but some of them will be used differently. So when that comes up, I'll bring that up. The first one comes pretty early with the legs. So for regular Garchomp, you use two studs for the feet. For Mega Garchomp, you would take one of these and put that on instead of the second stud. But for regular Garchomp, the same piece gets used in a different place, but overall the same pieces that are being used. So you just would use the one by one tile, one by one plate, I forget which ones are tiles and plates, but you know this, you would use this for Mega Garchomp where you use two studs for regular Garchomp instead. And then for Mega Garchomp, one of the studs that would have been used here gets used in a different place. Put that on wrong. This goes on first. So for regular guard chomp, these two 
plates or tiles. Yeah, I think tile is the right one. Anyway, these get used here for regular guard chomp. But for Mega Guard Chomp, in place of them, you would use these two fang pieces or beak pieces. I'm not sure what these are called. But those get used in the same place for Mega Guard Chomp. I'll show where to put all those later after we're done with regular Guard Chomp. So now for these pieces, this is the head. And this should be slightly edited, cut down just a little bit. This, the regular full length is too long. So I just cut it down like about that much. You'll see when I compare it to the final version of the head. This goes on very slightly forward so that it's aligned with the front of the tooth piece. And it's put together like that. Then I'll take the finished head and put that on instead, of course. Then over here, you build two of these mirrored. These are the arms. And you put this on at some kind of angle. This is part of why I didn't want to take apart the original pieces for it, because it would be hard to figure out exactly how to position it again. But here we have the finished arms. So there we have how to build regular Garchomp, one of my absolute favorite builds that I've ever made. And I'll just show some of the extra parts that were used for Mega Garchomp then. So here is everything with Mega Garchomp lacking those parts. Head is the same, but you will add an extra stud under this for the head on Mega Garchomp. As you can see, the extra stud there. 
And there is Mega Garchomp. Not as much of a fan of this as regular Garchomp, but that's largely due to the fact that I just don't like Mega Garchomp's design in general. So that's how to build my Skuntank, Garchomp, and Mega Garchomp. So if this one was a bit less clear than usual because of how I had to do it differently with the pieces. But if you want to see how to build other LEGO Sinnoh Pokemon, then you can check out the Sinnoh playlist here, which will also contain Gibble and Gabite from last week. And if you watch the end, comment Blossom Dance down below. So see you next time.